In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set a battery full alarm or notification on your iPhone. And this pretty much means that whenever you hit full percent, full hundred percent of your battery, when you are charging your iPhone, you're gonna get a notification to unplug it. Because a lot of times you get a notification when the battery is decreasing, when you get 20, when you get 10%, but you don't get it when you have like a full battery. So let me show you how you can do that. The first step, of course, is to download the uh, Apple Siri Shortcuts app from the App Store in case you don't have it already. Like, it's a free app and it's official from Apple, so just go ahead and then download it. And here inside of the app at the bottom you can see My Shortcuts Automation and Gallery. So click on Automation and then there are two options. So you can create your own personal automation, that's the option we're gonna go with, and set up home animation. So click on the blue button and it's gonna give you multiple options of course. So uh, here you need to scroll down to find battery level. You're going to click on uh, the battery level thing and now you make sure that uh, the option is set equals to 50% in this case and swi swipe and slide uh, it all the way to the right to make sure that it is exactly 100%. This means that the automation is going to take place when the battery reaches 100%, which is obviously the full battery. So click on next and here you can add whatever pretty much happens when this is reached when the full battery is being like 100% of course when you have charged until the full battery so it can be pretty much whatever you want but I would say that it would only be a great idea to have like a notification or something so you click on add action at the blue button and in the search bar make sure to, to type notification and show notification is the first option so you click on it and there you have the option to modify the text so it this could be something like your battery is full you can unplug your iPhone now or pretty much whatever you would want to. One very important thing when you click on next or to create one is to make sure that the ask before running option is turned off. In this case, when it is enabled, it's always going to ask you when you reach 100%, it's going to ask you if you want to receive a notification. And this is kind of redundant. We don't need that. We just want to get the notification right away, right? So this should definitely be disabled. Another great option is to show alert, just like a lot of times you know from the apps when there is like a big window pop up which appears in the middle of the screen with an option to have like OK or something. You can choose show alert with your specific text which always is going to appear, it's not like notification, but it doesn't allow you to move forward unless you dismiss the alert of course. So this is another option of what can happen when you reach 100%. And there are so many other things that you could choose. You can, for example, let yourself uh, send a text message. I mean, whenever your phone reaches 100%, you can send uh, a text message to your friend. You can send an email to your friend. You can even send an email to yourself if it helps you in any way. I mean, the possibilities are there. For example, if you want to keep track of when the battery has hit 100%, you can always choose the calendar section and create a new event whenever you hit this uh, percentage point so it's just always going to create an event and you can keep track of the data of how long it took for the battery to charge or stuff like that I mean it's really interesting of course back in uh, the battery level section you can also you can also choose not only equals section but rises above you can choose 90% for example and when you hit like 91% you're gonna get uh, the notification alert text message or whatever or you can choose when you connect your iPhone to a charger and for example when you disconnect it or something like that the possibilities are there you can always play around with it and only you can find out the best way for you and what works for you so uh, definitely take a look at it the shortcuts app is really powerful and really useful so I can only advise you to go ahead and download it and play around play around with the shortcuts and make sure to to know what works for you and what doesn't so I would say that this would be pretty much it for this video I don't want to drag it out too long I'm 
I really don't think that uh, there is anything else what I could add. Of course, if you are new on uh, this channel, remember to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads and future videos like these, so you can always stay tuned, or it just always shows up on your YouTube page, so whenever there's anything interesting, you get the chance to see it first. And you can also leave a thumbs up for the video to be shown to more people, you can always boost it with your thumbs up, so you can do that, and yeah, we can see each other in uh, the future uploads. Have a great rest of the day.